you're ready to ship off your bird and send it into us to be mounted, let me show you a couple brief ways and simple methods that you can do to properly ensure that your frozen bird comes into the studio still cold and still in good condition. The easiest and most simple method is to take a regular cardboard box. The size of your box is going to depend on how many birds you're shipping and the size of the birds. Once you have that, you're gonna take regular household insulation and go ahead and pack the bottom of this box with insulation. Make sure it's nice and tight. Once you have the box halfway full of insulation, go ahead and take your bird or birds, place them in the center of the box there on the insulation. If you have ice packs, they're good to use too. Put the ice pack on or under the bird, depending on what you want to use. After you've done that, you're going to take your remaining insulation and go ahead and fill in the rest of the space in that box, making sure it's good and tight. And then you're gonna go ahead and seal the box off, ship it out that same day. Another method you can use, if you're able to buy one, they make these styrofoam boxes that fit into a regular cardboard box. That helps keep things cold and helps your box stay well insulated. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take regular insulation, put it on the bottom, Again, take your frozen bird, place it in the center, ice packs if you have them, there with the bird. And we don't want to keep all this extra space so the bird can bounce around in shipping. So we're going to take, again, some more insulation and we're going to tightly pack that box so that nothing can move around or shuffle in the mail. Go ahead and put the lid on, fold the box, tape it, seal it, ship it that day. Following these different methods for shipping will help ensure that when your bird is shipped off to us, that while it's in transit and in the mail, that it doesn't spoil and it stays cool. That's our goal, to keep your bird from thawing out as much as possible. Now before you ship your bird out, be sure you download one of these migratory bird tags. For each bird that is shipped out, any migratory bird, this information needs to be filled out on this card with the hunter's information and shipped along with the birds. I recommend that you ship UPS or FedEx and be sure that the estimated delivery date is before or on Friday. We don't want anything getting stuck in the mail as it has higher potential to spoil and that's not what we want for your trophy birds. Ah!